Hello, South Pacific family, and welcome to Vlog 2. Last month, I talked about prayer and the importance of having a prayer partner and praying with your prayer partner once a week. I hope that you've been doing that. I have been, and I have thoroughly enjoyed my times of prayer with my prayer partner. Prayer is really important. The second time, the second month here, I want to talk to you about the purpose. So prayer, purpose, and the next one will be plan. But the purpose, or I'd rather put it this way, the mission, the mission of the church. Here's one of the fascinating things I'm observing right now, and that is, is that the mission of the church is getting confused with the agenda of the world. I want to pause there. I want you to really be captivated by that. As Jesus was going through life, the Jews had the agenda of the world on their mind and were often pressing and asking him because if he was the coming king, he was going to uproot and change the political avenue of, of the political agenda of the culture. And yet Jesus had a mission and the mission of God. And here's what I want to warn you as pastors is that uh, I know I needed this constantly is to stay on biblical mission. By biblical mission, we've been given the Great Commission in Matthew 28. We have been told what we're to do. We're to make disciples. And throughout 2,000 years of history, we have disciple making in a lot of different political arenas. In fact, if we just take a short history back to the, when the fall of Vietnam and the, and the communism takes over, we see revival and the church actually explodes because they stay on mission and they make disciples. And so God's agenda to for us to make disciples is what we have to stay focused on. So really in mission is what I want to just remind you of. The mission needs to be a biblical mission. Remind your disciples, make them and teach them to observe all that he has commanded. And then the second piece of that is, is that he hasn't given you a spirit of timidity, but one of love. And by that, I simply want to remind you, as well as you reminding your people, we should always have an attitude of love. Anytime there is anger and hatred that stirs or division that stirs within us because that agenda is creeping into our churches, it's important for us to remind our people we're about love. Love does not mean tolerance. Love doesn't mean you're giving up your opinion or what you think. It means you accept the other person and you allow God to be God, to love and to bear with one another is the essence of love. So to loving our neighbor as ourself, loving God with all of our heart and soul and mind and strength. Fear will try to creep in. If I watch the news, I either get fearful or angry. That's the people coming to your church. They're either fearful or angry. Your role is to teach them to be loving and to stay on the mission of God. This is not our kingdom. We are aliens and strangers. We are not of this world. Isn't that good news? If I believed that I had to change this culture and this world, it would be overwhelming and depressing. I would lose hope, but my hope is not in this world. My hope is not in this culture, this government. My hope is in a Christ who changes people. And when people change and they're transformed by Jesus, culture changes. That's such a beautiful picture. And I have to constantly be reminded that the mission of the church is to make biblical disciples. It isn't even to build a big church. Jesus says that was his job. Our job is to make disciples. And so a true disciple of Jesus is not one who has all of the theology correct. It is one who has the spirit of living God who has love because God is love. It's the only thing Satan can't counterfeit is love. So as we love and aren't afraid or timid, but we love, we care, we invest in the people around us. I love you. We're in this together. We will do better together than separate. Don't hide. May the Lord give you boldness to speak truthfully one to another, but to bear with one another. To God be the glory as we put his mission first and have a heart of love doing it. Amen.